of this video is not to incite hatred or jealousy toward the wealthy. The goal of this video is to demonstrate that there are reasons why the wealthy have an easier time accumulating wealth than the average person. The rich are getting richer for a variety of reasons. And, contrary to popular belief, those reasons have nothing to do with being evil, being a bad person, or committing illegal acts. Today, we'll discuss why the rich are getting richer. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos in the future. The rich place a higher value on their time. You expect to be paid for your time and effort if you go to work. Except for a few politicians who believe you should be taxed heavily for your effort and receive very little in return for your labor, I hope that seems reasonable to all of us. If the economy is good, I assume you will only accept a job that pays you at least what you consider to be a fair wage for your time. If the job does not pay you what you believe you deserve, you will most likely leave and look for another job. The wealthy are in the same boat, except they may place a higher value on their time. We all work for money in exchange for what we believe is a reasonable return on our time. Because they believe that a higher pay rate is required for their time, the wealthy end up getting more money for their hours worked. Given that the wealthy already have a sizable asset pool, this makes sense. They frequently compare compensation to the value of their assets. Someone with $25,000 in assets might think $100,000 a year is a good deal. However, if you have $10 million in assets, $100,000 a year in salary for working a job may not seem so appealing. As a result, the wealthy will choose to work on something that will pay them more. This, hopefully, appears logical to you and is one of the reasons why the wealthy continue to accumulate wealth. They value their time more highly. The rich have assets and can put the assets to work. Labor isn't the only form of exchange for money in this world. People will also pay for the use of certain assets. These are known as income-producing assets, and the wealthy have a lot of them. Real estate is an example of an asset that generates income. In fact, I am a huge proponent of real estate and believe it should be a major part of your portfolio. People will pay you to live or work in your property. Another example of an income-producing asset is cash. Banks will lend you money and charge you interest. The wealthy have more income-generating assets that will help them generate cash flow and increase their net worth. Better investment opportunities. The wealthy have more investment options. This isn't in any way unethical or illegal. In fact, there are government regulations in place that limit certain investments to the wealthy. Take, for example, a private equity fund, PEF, investment. PE funds are only available to accredited investors by law. To be considered an accredited investor, a person must have either, an annual income of more than $200,000 for the previous two years, or $300,000 for joint income, with the expectation of earning the same or more in the current year, or a net worth of more than $1 million. The law was enacted to protect the average person from being exposed to products that the government deems difficult to comprehend and risky. This means that in order to benefit from a PE fund investment, you must be wealthy. You have more financing options if you are wealthy. The wealthy have easier access to money. That shouldn't come as a shock. They have two advantages over the average person. 1. Assets and, e, a high level of income. Lenders are in the business of extending credit to individuals. Lenders must recover their principal and charge interest in exchange. Asking for collateral on a loan is one way for lenders to reduce the risk of not getting their money back. Why can banks lend on a mortgage at a lower interest rate than on a personal loan? The reason for this is that your home is used as collateral for a loan. The wealthy have assets, particularly those that generate income. Those assets can be used as security for a loan. As a result, the wealthy have more financing options available to them. In order to cover the interest payments, a lender also wants to see strong income. The wealthy have more money than the average person. The lenders will be more at ease as a result of this. If you have more assets with a bank, they may be able to offer you better financing options. Some banks will give you a quarter point or more off your mortgage if you reach certain asset levels with them. This also enables the wealthy to borrow at a lower interest rate. Some of the wealthy have risen through the ranks because they are CEOs or have a large following. They have a significant impact on both employees and customers. This kind of power is also extremely valuable and can generate a lot of money. Take, for example, Kylie Jenner. 
She is a member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Kylie Jenner's net worth reached $1 billion, making her the world's youngest self-made billionaire, according to Forbes magazine. She founded her own successful cosmetics line, which accounts for the majority of her billion-dollar fortune. Kylie used her massive Twitter following to promote her new cosmetic line. At the time of writing, she had 27 million Twitter followers. She should be able to sell a lot of whatever product she wants to promote to her followers with that many followers. Her ability to generate great wealth is due to her level of influence among her followers. The wealthy have a better network. This could be a circle that you made yourself. People generally believe that the wealthy have more connections. Greater opportunities may arise as a result of improved connections. People want to connect with someone wealthy because they want more opportunities. As a result, the wealthy now have more connections. In Silicon Valley, rising startups with a lot of potential can easily raise money. However, some startups require more than just capital. They also require guidance and the relationships that a new equity partner can provide. You will lose out to another prospective investor who can bring both capital and relationships to the table if you can only offer capital to the startup. The wealthy have better connections, and those connections provide them with better investment opportunities, allowing them to continue to accumulate wealth. People can be leveraged by the rich to produce more output. The wealthy can afford to hire more people to help provide timely leverage. To keep the house in order, the average person does chores around the house. Some of the chores performed include raking leaves, cleaning the house, doing laundry, cooking, and running errands. Those tasks are required in order to live a well-organized life. They do not, however, generate income directly. The wealthy can hire people to do these tasks for them. The wealthy can instead use the time they would have spent doing chores to work on projects or tasks that will generate money or income. The wealthy can also hire a large number of people to assist them with their income-generating businesses or projects. Instead of exchanging one person's time for money, the wealthy can exchange the time of many employees. Consider the owner of a law firm, a dental office, or an accounting firm to see how they use other people's time. The wealthy have access to more information. The wealthy have access to or have more information than the average person. Information has the potential to increase wealth and income. There are several reasons why the wealthy have access to more information. It's possible that the wealthy have more time to conduct research. They may have amassed wealth as a result of their prowess in a particular field. The wealthy may also have more connections and relationships, which can lead to better education and information from other experts in a field. The information that the wealthy possess can be more valuable and lead to more opportunities for wealth accumulation. That concludes the discussion of why the rich are getting richer. I hope you find the video entertaining. If you like the video, please share it. And if you'd like to hear from us again, make sure to click the like button. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos in the future.